When knitting a top-down sock with a heel flap, you need to pick up the stitches along the edge of the heel flap to form the gusset. You can see here I've knit the heel flap back and forth. I've used a slip stitch heel pattern to give it extra strength and I've turned the heel. And my yarn is at this end of the needle because the last thing I did was knit across all the stitches. You can see I'm using DPNs here but the method is the same whatever needles you choose. You can, if you like, use a spare needle to pick up the stitches but this isn't necessary. You see I've got all my heel stitches on one needle here. You may have them on two. It's fine. Whatever works for you. So I slipped the first stitch of every row of the heel flap, which means I've got this nice chained edge, which will make it really easy to pick up the stitches. So there's one slip stitch for every two rows of the heel flap, and we're going to pick up one stitch in every slipped stitch. Something I find is really helpful is to use a stitch marker to separate the heel stitches from the ones we're about to pick up. This makes it easier to count and make sure you've got the same number on both sides. So we're going to knit first into this white stitch. There is another blue slip stitch here but that's where my working yarn is coming out of so I'm not going to go into that one. So we go under both legs of the stitch, pull the yarn around and pull it through. So you can see there's a hole there, nice and easy, under both legs, catch the yarn and pull it through. And we're just going to keep doing that in every stitch. Some patterns will specify how many stitches to pick up, but I prefer just picking up as many as feels necessary because you may want to change the length of the heel flap. If you have high arches, then a longer heel flap will probably fit you better. And it doesn't really matter how many you pick up because they'll get decreased away in the gusset. Try to make sure you're not splitting the stitches. If you've got very sharp needles like me, it can be difficult. But just keep an eye out. Okay, so I've now picked up a stitch for every slip stitch, but if I went straight on to the instep from here, then I would end up with a large gap and we don't really want that. So we're going to pick up an extra stitch. And the way I like to do that is in the last stitch of the round before the heel flap. And we're going to do a lifted increase. So we just want to lift up one leg of that stitch and knit into that. So we just picked up the left leg and that will help to minimize the gap there. Now, now I have worked across all of the instep stitches and I'm ready to pick up the stitches along the other side of the heel flap. 
Now, I made 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 stitches on that side. You see why this stitch marker comes in handy. So we're going to aim to do the same on this side. First, we're going to pick up that extra stitch, just like we did before. So this is the first slip stitch. So we're going to work into the stitch below that, the first one of the row before the heel flap, but just into the one leg. Try not to pick up anything other than that stitch, like that. And then we work into the slip stitches exactly like before. There's a hole under both legs, except this time they're pointing down instead of up. Okay, so I've worked to the last slip stitch and I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 stitches. So the same as the other side. If you don't have the right number of stitches, see if you can squeeze one out of somewhere. It doesn't have to be perfect. But if you don't have the same number as the other side, you might get into a bit of a pickle later on. Okay, now you see I've got the instep stitches on one needle, the sole stitches on the other. I could do with a little bit of rearranging, but now I'm all ready to start the foot of my sock. <laughs> 